Hi everyone and welcome back to Stitchy B. I'm Cheryl Temple. Okay, this week I promised you we'd talk about PDF pattern printing. As you probably know, um, there are more and more PDF patterns being released all the time from the different sewing companies. And um, if you've not sewn a PDF pattern before, it's where you buy the pattern online and you can download it instantly to your computer and then print it off at home. So usually you'd have several sheets of A4 paper, um, usually the ones I've done for a regular sized garment tend to be between 28 and 32 pages long and the idea is is you tape them all together lining up um, the little notches that are there for you and then you can cut it out. So when I first heard about this I was like no one is gonna buy that and do that in a day where we were all short of time and how wrong was I? Um, loads of people buy them, lots of people have grown to love the process um, and even I've um, grown to love it. So what I do when I download them is um, download the A4 sheets and then I trim mine with a trimmer like this one um, which I think helps. You can fold over the edges to, to line up the notches um, and then I tend to tape mine with sellotape but as I mentioned last week you end up with no fingerprints and it's you know it's a long old process especially if you're making a coat where the number of pages can be over 60. So there is an alternative and um, that is there are a few companies that have sprung up recently or print companies that have expanded their services to sell the ability to upload your PDF pattern that you've bought and they will print it off for you on one big sheet and that size of sheets usually an A0 sheet so you know you get A1, A2, A3, A4 well most of the pattern companies not all and not all patterns are available in a large copy but most of them offer you um, the option to download that pattern in an A0 size. So um, I went through all my back catalogue of patterns and I've chosen a selection and I've chosen three different companies to test and here they are. So the first company um, that I looked at is netprinter.co.uk which looking online on all the community forums and Instagram lots of people recommend them so I thought I'd have a go. So netprinter are a commercial printers and they're used to printing all sorts of different things mainly aimed at businesses and then now they also offer the service to print sewing patterns that you can upload yourself. So. The first thing to remember about this industry is that it's quite new to these uh, commercial printers. So in Netprinter's um, case, for example, they charge VAT at the end of the process, as you'd expect if you were buying as a company. So that's one thing to look for. Does their pricing include VAT and is there VAT on delivery? So in Netprinter's case, there was. So if you excuse me referring to my notes because I want to get this right. So um, I chose to print three patterns from Netprinter. I chose the Hudson pants, the Sapporo coat and the Ultimate trousers, which I'm sure you've, you've heard of these. I'll pop links to them below if you want to have a peek at them more closely. And um, they charge £1.50 per A0 sheet and that's in black and white. I selected black and white on all the patterns because I think they're all supposed to be black and white. Um, I'm not sure if any companies do offer you um, the ability for colour so that you could see the lines clearly. I don't know but in all these cases all these are black and white. They charge a delivery charge of £3 and they also offer you the ability to pay with PayPal. I think it's only PayPal actually but obviously if you don't have a PayPal account you can still pay using your debit or credit card through the PayPal process without having an account. So um, this all went swimmingly, the website was quick, it was easy to use, um, the PDFs were easy to upload, it was obvious um, that some of the patterns have more than one A0 sheet so another thing to look for is um, on your downloads, for example, um, sew over it have a cowl neck dress, but their download is 
an A0, two A0 sheets and they're not in the same file. So when you upload your patterns to these companies, you need to have a look how they charge or account for you uploading um, one page or two. And it's not that obvious with each. In Netprinter's case, it was. They it took care of that and their system detected where there were multiple sheets of the same pattern. But it's one thing you really need to check on and I'll come on to that on the next one. So um, what wasn't clear to me was the VAT um, element, so the value added tax. So when I got to the end and it spun me off to PayPal to pay for my order, I thought it came to £14.40 for my three patterns, um, which was um, £1.50 per sheet and then £3 on top. So I thought, how's that come to £14.40? And I went back and had a look and it wasn't that obvious. So I cancelled that process before I paid and I started again to make sure I'd done it right because the end price didn't seem right. And of course it was because they'd added VAT onto the whole order value, which then took it up to £14.40, which is fine. Um, it's a great price for those patterns to be printed and posted to me but it was, wasn't that clear at the start. So it's just one thing to remember. So yeah, my three patterns, and of course the Sapporo coat was more than one sheet. Um, and they were printed out £14.40. And I ordered that one day and the order actually arrived the next. And it came in nice envelope. Um, unfortunately for me, um, they, it looks like they send all their orders recorded delivery, uh, which in the UK, that means you have to sign for that parcel, which is great, but I was in my dressing gown and, you know, who wants to open the door at half past eight in the morning? <laughs> so um, that was the only thing. It would have fitted through the letterbox too. Um, so I was a bit sad that I had to sign for it, but I suppose that's their um, shipping process and everything will probably go out signed for. But I would have liked the option to have received that without being disturbed, but that's a small niggle. Inside, the patterns are really great. They also come with a nice sheet. It's a bit bright for you to see there, but a detailing um, the prices and the breakdown. Let's have a look at the pages. Print, print quality is very good. I'll not dazzle you by put it, popping these too close to the camera. And the paper quality is lovely. It's actually as I like it, which is, a little bit thinner than a kind of standard and um, I, I prefer that because I think it's easier to get the pins in and I cut all my patterns I don't trace them off of course you can make a cardboard version if you want to have something more durable but I, I like this quality of paper it's perfect for me and um, most patterns not all come with a little box on where you can check the size so it makes sure that it's printed off properly. So before you cut it or do anything, get your tape measure out and check the size of the test box. Often it's three inches by three inches, um, or I think they're 10 centimeters on some of them. It depends whether the pattern's British or, or US. So the US ones always tend to write it in inches um, and that's fine. And they all were accurate. They're all perfect. So I'm really happy with those. So overall, net printer were fabulous. The cost was excellent. Um, for that many pattern pages for £14.40, I thought it was good value delivered. I received it quickly next day. So if you're buying a PDF pattern, you're gonna want your pattern quickly because it's kind of the point. So I think speedy delivery is quite key. Um, and yeah, the only thing I'd change is, I didn't really need recorded delivery. Um, and the pricing could have been a bit clearer, but hey, they're a printing business, so they charge back that way for that reason. So they get a thumbs up. Okay, next up, uh, we've got printyourpattern.com. Sorry if I'm a bit windswept. I've just had to nip out and pick up my little boy and it's freezing here. And I forgot to tell you what I'm wearing. Um, don't be under any illusions about this being springy and summery. It's three degrees here in the UK. It's absolutely freezing. So I'm trying to cheer myself up by wearing more summery, springy things, but um, I'll have a fleece on later, I know I will. Anyway, back to, um, back to business. Okay, so 
Uh, the next company that I ordered from is printyourpattern.com and these guys are relatively new um, I spotted them on Instagram and it's run by a lady called Sarah and um, they specialize in printing sewing patterns so they're not a big commercial printers they are experts at printing out sewing patterns which is handy when you make a mistake uh, in the way you upload which I'll come on to so um, they offer free delivery which is great and they charge £6.50 for a pattern with one or two pages so that's one or two A0 pages or um, and £13 for two patterns so I ordered um, I uploaded three patterns with them the Mere Jeans the Juliet blouse, both so over it, and the grain line maritime shorts. So I'm getting all my patterns printed, ready to do, um, to work on my make nine list. I've already done a couple, um, but yeah, we'll talk next week about that. And the, this this total came to nineteen pounds fifty, which would be thirty pounds for two, six fifty for one, one plus the other's nineteen fifty, and that includes delivery and the patterns arrived next day. The same as with Netprinter, they both came together actually. And it was paid by PayPal, which is handy. So they also came in a nice envelope, the same style envelopes, I think, so it's a kind of gusset envelope. This one fit through the letterbox. I didn't have to sign for it, which was more convenient, especially if you're at work all day. I'm lucky I work from home, but delivery is really important. Um, being able to fit through the letterbox. I often think that when I send out my fabric, I try and send them in the smallest possible postage bag so that it will fit through um, where possible. So um, the printing uh, quality is great. I would say this paper is slightly thicker than net printer. Um, not too thick though, just right for getting your pins through. And the printing quality is probably a little bit darker actually, a bit more clear. Um, all my test squares measured accurately, so um, this one's for the mere jeans and the test square is 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres and it's exactly that. So again, always check those and they're all brilliant. Um, one thing Sarah did do, she emailed me after, I, after I'd ordered um, and I think I'd uploaded only one PDF sheet for the Juliet blouse and she spotted that which was amazing. So instead of me getting the package and then going, hey, where's the other one? And then have to find it in my email and have to look up and see if I've actually done it right or if it's their mistake or mine. She spotted that, headed it off and said, Cheryl, I think you're missing a page because there's no bodice blocks um, on the one you've sent me and that's a bit odd. I'm like, absolutely, yeah. So I sent her the other page, she added that and it came out as quickly. So that's the difference, I guess, where obviously Sarah sews as well. So she would understand and spot um, the ability to, she's got the ability to do that. So that was very helpful. I was very, very grateful for that. So I didn't have to faff about ringing or contacting to get that sorted. And all these patterns are perfect. So yeah, they were a little bit more expensive, um, but I got a super A1 service along with that. Okay, so they were excellent too. So that's printyourpattern.com. Now, third option. So I've seen a few people recommend dottyprint.co.uk um, on various different websites. So I had a look, when I ordered all these patterns last Thursday, I had a quick look at their site and I had just one pattern left to upload and it was the Sew Over It Cowl Neck Dress and that's a pattern that has two pages, so two AO copy shop sheets. Now when I clicked on Dotty Print, it was very obvious where the sewing pattern option was. Um, I went onto their site, it said, well, would you like one page or two page? So I selected two pages and then I went through the process to upload the PDF and I uploaded both sheets, but it only showed the last sheet visible. So I didn't like to check out because I thought I'm only gonna get one sheet 
Um, so I left it and it put me off a bit because unless it's really obvious and really clear, I'll, I'll go elsewhere as a customer, which I'm sure many people would. So I left it, but it's been niggling me because I keep seeing more and more people recommend them. And um, it would have been great if I'd have just had the one page to print. It would have been superb and really quick and easy. Um, so I rang them today because I thought, no, I want to do this and I want to see what they're like. And I spoke to one of the co-owners, a lady called Charlotte, and she was super helpful, uh, apologised profusely and said um, she would get that fixed straight away. And within 10 minutes, they added um, up to five PDF slots for you to upload your pattern. And it's really obvious that you've done that. So they charge £3.95 for one sheet, £4.95 for two, £5.95 for three, and £6.95 for four sheets. And that includes VAT and it includes free delivery, albeit second class delivery, which is great. But if you're in a hurry, you need to bear that in mind. But I thought that was great value. And while I was talking to her, I also asked her if she'd like to give you a discount um, for um, shopping with them uh, from my blog. So she said, absolutely. So um, I tested that out, made sure it worked, and she's offering 20% off all orders for the rest of February 2018. And the discount code you need to key in is stitchyb, all lowercase. Um, if you, when you get to the checkout process and you go through to the payment, the place to enter the promotional code is quite faint and small. So just look down line by line and you'll spot it eventually and then you can key in Stitchy B to get your discount. And I tested it, it worked. So I've ordered those patterns and they should be here in the next couple of days, two or three days if it's second class. So I'll let you know next week how that goes because um, I'm expecting them sometime between now and then. So that was very generous of them. So um, because I didn't just want to leave um, that there in terms of discounts, I've also contacted the other two companies and asked them if they'd like to give us a discount um, for you guys. And if anyone comes back after I've recorded this video, I'll pop the links below and pop any more um, discount codes underneath so that you can still take advantage. So I won't get a chance to refilm this, but if they do respond to me and, and I'll let you know below. Okay, so um, they were the UK ones. And in the US, obviously I haven't got the opportunity to order and have them shipped because it, it would be too expensive. Um, I guess vice versa for you if you live in the US from these companies who are UK based. Um, but I noticed that lots of people were recommending a company called pdfplotting.com in the, in the US and um, a lady called Teresa um, recommended them last week. Um, her comments are underneath last week's vlog, if you want to have a look. And she said, let me find the right notes. She said they offer same day shipping, uh, although minimum order is $7 and shipping's added on top. Um, so have a check, have a look at those, check them out. Um, I had a quick look at their website and they seem to charge uh, $1.20 for one A0 sheet and postage is from $6.99. So a little bit more expensive um, in terms of postage, etc. But if you're printing out loads, I think that's probably good value. Um, so you have that to think about and bear in mind. Also, I had a quick Google and I've noticed that I don't know if you've ever spotted sewing pattern review um, I think they're patternreview.com or sewingpatternreview.com I'll pop the link below they offer um, printing on the patterns that you purchase through their website only so it's not as flexible as the other options um, but it's worth checking out um, there's a link to a blog thread that I discovered below where people are talking about it um, and also I'll pop a link to their site so you can check that out. I'm not able to recommend them or give you an opinion, um, but have a, have a look and see how that compares. But pdfplotting.com seems to be the way to go for US. Um, and of course, there'll be local coffee shop places that offer even better value if you can pop in in person. So that's it for this, this week. Um, sorry it was a bit wordy, wasn't it? Not much to see in terms of prettiness. Um, oh, I didn't mention what I was wearing, so I'm wearing the Eve dress 
from Sew Over It that I made last year. Um, this is the one with the straight sleeves, which I left. I was going to remove them, wasn't I, if you remember, um, but I left it. And they're okay, as long as, as, long as you don't want to reach up high for anything. <laughs> so if you do make the Eve dress, make the fluted sleeves, is my advice, uh, for what it's worth. Anyway, that's it from me for this week. So next week, I'll be back here talking about and my progress with my Make Nine list for 2018. So this is a hashtag started on Instagram, hashtag Make Nine uh, 2018, where you can spot um, who's making what for the rest of this year, or their plans at least. So check that out. Um, I'll be starting off talking about the Grain Line Maritime Shorts um, so I've bought the pattern for that. Um, I'll be showing the, you the fabric that I'm, I've chosen. I've even ordered myself a couple of zips to fit them already. So I'm organised for once. So we'll, we'll go through that. I doubt I'll get to make the shorts before then, but if I do, you'll see them. Um, and then we're going to start talking about more spring summer sewing. Hallelujah! Because it's so grim here at the moment. It's been three degrees in Feb in the UK all month. So um, yeah, it'll be nice to start sewing things for when the weather does eventually cheer itself up. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this and I hope to see you soon. Take care, bye for now. Music